Well also, sometimes in your LaTeX tables, you have particular elements that you want to span multiple columns. So let's say that I've got a textual element that I want to span the second and the third column where I've highlighted there. So what I'll do is I'll come to my code, I'll get rid of the elements that I want to override, and I'll use the command multi-column. Now you'll notice that multi-column takes three inputs. The first input is how many columns you want your text to span. So in this case, it's the second and third column. So there are two columns there that I want to span. The next is the justification or the alignment of your text in that particular column. So in this case, I want it to be centered. And then the third is the actual text that you want to put across those two columns there. So in this case, you can see I've got here is my multi-column that is spanning two particular columns on the right hand side. Now, if you've watched my video, which I'll put a link to in the description below of how to do custom column sizing, then as a result, you can change the C to basically have a custom width. So you can see now that my custom column width of the last two columns is going to be 25 millimeters overall, and it's still going to be centered.